Hi friends, in this video, we will discuss one of the electrophilic substitution reactions of amines, which is bromination. Now consider aniline. Aniline has a lone pair of electrons on nitrogen. Hence, it can show plus R effect. What is plus R effect? Plus resonance effect, right? That means the electron density flows into the benzene ring. So we will see the resonating structures of aniline. So this electron moves to this bond, then this pi bond, because this around this particular carbon, the carbon number one, there are already four bonds. When the resonance comes, uh, it will become the fifth bond. So this pi bond cannot be there. So this will shift to uh, this nearest carbon atom. So the negative charge now is on this carbon. Now, if you show all the resonating structures of this aniline in this single structure, we can show it like this. Now, this negative charge moves to this bond, then this pi bond will move to this particular carbon atom. So, this carbon will become a negatively charged carbon. Now, in the next structure, this negative charge will move to this bond, that time this pi bond will move to this carbon atom. Again, this carbon get the positive charge. So, you can see that this carbon atom is an ortho carbon and this one is a para carbon and this carbon is an another ortho carbon so in the resonating structures of aniline the negative charges are coming only at the ortho carbons and para carbon there are no extra electron density on the meta carbons so if an electrophile reach there to attack it will prefer only ortho and para carbons because electrophile always looking for electrons so here the ortho and para carbons are electron rich compared to the meta carbons due to the electron flow from nh2 that is what we call plus r effect so electrophile will directly attack either ortho or para position or all the three position so nh2 group or it is due to the electron flow from nh2 group so we can call nh2 group as an ortho para director we can call nh2 group as an ortho para director ortho para director that means it directs the incoming electrophile to its para positions or ortho positions now we will directly move to the bromination of aniline for that we take aniline and the bromination of aniline can be done with bromine water bromine in the presence of water you will get a product like this where all the three position gets attacked by bromine that means bromine get attached here here one bromine we get and here we get bromine and the byproducts formed in this reaction is 3hbr so we need to use 3br in the presence of water so this is the uh, equation uh, that shows the bromination of aniline and the name of this compound is carbon number one, two, three, four, five, six. So it is two, four, six tribromo aniline. So bromination of aniline directly give you tribromo aniline. And the formation of this tribromo aniline is due to the high activating nature of NH2 group. So it is due to the high activating nature of NH2 group. It is due to the high activating nature of NH2 group. All the ortho and para position gets attacked by bromine and you get 246 tribromo aniline. Now, if you need a monobromo substituted aniline, then what is the procedure for doing that? We will see that. In order to get mono bromo aniline, we know that the tribromo aniline formation is due to the high activating nature of NH2. So, first step what we need to do is reduce the activating effect of NH2. So, first step is reduce the activating nature of NH2 or activating effect of NH2 and 
the second thing is bromination bromination and the third step is hydrolysis so these are the three steps you need to uh, do it here now consider aniline here the activating nature of nh2 is due to this lone pair of electron due to the flow of electron density to the benzene ring so to reduce that or to, to reduce the flow of electron density of a lone pair of electron uh, to the benzene ring we do acylation reaction or acetylation reaction with acetic anhydride ch3 co twice o acylation reaction we have already done in our uh, in our previous video so if uh, anybody wants to watch that you can see that so acetylation reaction we do then you will get acetanilide you will get nh co ch3 you will get and the byproducts formed here will be acetic acid ch3 co o h you will get now here you can see that this lone pair of electron over the nitrogen is in conjugation with this double bond carbonyl group c double bond group so this lone pair electron will be busy with this resonance like uh, so with the carbonyl group so the flow of electron density to the benzene ring gets reduced here now we treat it with bromine bromine or bromine in acetic acid see acetic acid is already there in the a solution in the reaction mixture so that can be used here so ch3 bromine or bromine ch3 coh you will get para bromo acetanilide as the major product nh co ch3 and bromine here so you will get an ortho bromo product also but you know that para bromo products are more stable are uh, due to the historical reason so this one will be the major product but till now we didn't get para bromo aniline now we have only para bromo acetanilide we need to break this bond and get the nh2 there so you can do we can hydrolyze it base catalyzed hydrolysis you can do then you will get nh2 back here and this bromo so you will get four bromo aniline so this is the step so the first step the first step we have done the reaction acetylation reaction is done to reduce the activating effect of nh2 group and the second step bromine and ch3coh was the bromination reaction and the last step is hydrolysis reaction to get the four bromo aniline so i hope uh, you uh, got the point thank you